Marx said that he was standing Hegel on his head. Okay. Uh, Marx said Hegel would be all very fine if he were talking about material reality, but in fact he's talking about ideas and it's all happening in a very abstract sphere. And in fact, that abstract fear tends to reinforce the existing bourgeois order. Okay. He says what, needs to, what we need is real change, one of his very famous lines um, from one of his very early writings, the thesis on Feuerbach, is um, philosophers have hitherto interpreted the world, the point, however, is to change it. So what Marx says is when we work, we actually change the world physically. We don't just change it in ideas, we change it very dramatically. And of course, we've taken over a lot of Marx and he's completely right about that. So his idea was forget about ideological change. What needs to happen is, um, is a change in the means of production. And if you actually change the conditions under which people work, you change the conditions of ownership, you will have changed the world and you will have gotten rid of real evil, not just by thinking about it, but by actually doing something about it. Now, uh, in all those ways, Marx was terribly important, terribly progressive, and it's very easy to understand why so many millions of people thought for the first time in history you had a hope of doing something practical through philosophy, but beyond philosophy, to actually rid the world of all kinds of inequalities and evils. The biggest problem, I would say, with Marxism, there are many problems, of course, there are empirical problems about the ways in which the theory turned out not to predict how history was going to be. But the biggest problem is the same problem that you have with Hegelianism, which is a view that means justify ends and that history in the end is what solves the problem of evil. So what you have in effect is earlier generations suffering for future generations and it's one thing if you want to say I'm going to do certain things, I'm going to take certain, um, make certain sacrifices for my children's well-being. It's another thing to impose on millions of people a set of sacrifices that you claim are necessary in order to rid the world of certain evils. And that's in effect what happened. That is that an awful lot of people got used as means for a plan that in fact in the end wasn't, uh, wasn't well enough thought out to overcome the evils that it set out to overcome, it wound up leading to new ones.